So you'll be meeting the sponsors here at six. I'll need their final tickets here before they travel. Actually, do you think that's such a good idea? Maybe we should wait till we get to Amsterdam to give them the tickets. What do you think? Morning. No, second thoughts. Wait till we get there, yeah? Morning. You need something for this? What's this? Just there. And there. Where's she gone now? Ah, oh. Sandra. Good. Sponsors cocktail party. Are the Amsterdam Arena aware that the colours have got to be purple and white? Yes, Linda. Well, what about the cake? Linda! What? You're 9.30? Your lawyer? Yes. No, it's ten past ten. Mm. She's been waiting in there for over 40 minutes. Shouldn't you be getting ready for... Excuse me. <sighs> so, we'll do more of the detailed work once you're back from Amsterdam. But it would be useful if you could look through these depositions before that. Well, I'll try, but we are quite busy. We do have a UEFA Cup final to win in two days' time, you know. And four days after that, you're up on a murder charge. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see you when you get back from Amsterdam. Good luck for the match. Thanks. Linda, we have a good chance of getting you off of this murder charge. But it's all down to you. It's going to be your performance at the trial that will decide it. Now promise me you'll look over all the evidence very carefully, please. Oh, I will. I promise. Okay. Sorry. Right, where were we? Nikki, you need to get that stuff down to the training ground. Sandra, have the caterers called back yet? Right, you should grab her arms. What are you doing? What are we doing? What are you doing more like? Mrs. Brock, have you forgotten in three hours' time we're getting married? Off you go. <laughs> no, Sam and I will be with you about noon tomorrow. Yes, we're looking forward to it. And may the best man win. Although I have to tell you, that will be us. OK, till then, bye-bye. What are you doing with that? You have less than two hours. I thought, seeing as you've no intention of going home, I'd better get it myself. Linda, if you don't start getting ready soon... OK, OK, I'm coming. Oh, no. What? I've told the hairdressers to go to the house and Claudia. Oh, uh, I'll get Zoe to phone them. Second thoughts, forget the hairdresser. She'll probably make me look like I'm wearing a wig anyway. Well, come on, then. We haven't got all day. <laughs> you look great. Mm. I hope your husband likes this new look. <laughs> Thanks, girls. I wouldn't have to do it without you. She had it for ten ninety nine. <laughs> oh, Claudia, your face looks nearly as purple as your dress. Yeah, well, I'm um, sorry I'm late. I would have been here earlier if I didn't have to wait outside your house for half an hour. Oh, yeah, sorry, change of plan. You look nice. Thank you. <clears throat> what do you need me to do? Nothing. I think we're almost done. The girls have been tremendous. Listen, why don't you go and see your father? I know he wants to see you. But I'm supposed to be your bridesmaid. I know, but I know you'd rather be with him. Do you mind? No, it's OK. Thanks. Um, I hope it all works out for you. I know you do. Fletch's in reception. It's time to go. Good turnout. They all came. More than the job's worth not to. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> David. Good luck. Nice. Where's your bouquet? I had them delivered to the house. What are we going to do? Where have you been? Nowhere. 
not starting all that rubbish with. the joining in matrimony of Linda and Samuel. If anyone present knows of any lawful reason why they should not be joined in matrimony, he or she should declare it now. Samuel and Linda, before you're joined in matrimony, I have a duty to remind you both of the solemn and binding nature of the vows you are about to take. Marriage is the union of one man and one woman voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Linda, do you take Samuel to be your husband? Do you promise to love him, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. Samuel, do you take Linda to be your wife? Do you promise to love her, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? Actually, you know what? I don't. <laughs> You heard me. I said no. I don't want you to be my wife. What are you talking Oh, don't look so surprised. You think I wasn't going to find out about you and lover boy here? Well, I did. <laughs> I'm very sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but it appears there isn't going to be a wedding today. It seems a shame to waste all of this, doesn't it? Gee, what? Why don't you two take advantage of this, eh? Claudia, you give me the rings. The rings. Here you go. God knows I don't need them anymore. Well, I hope you two will be very happy. Oh, word of advice, though. She is a murdering, two-timing slut, and she's not even very good in bed, but then you already knew that, didn't you, eh? You're welcome to her. I don't think so. I think you've done enough. Out of my way, Claudia. You happy now? Static. What, just... Don't leave him. Would someone mind telling me what the hell is going on? Sam, open the door, please. Sam! I'm not leaving till you open the door. I'll break it down if I have to. Sam! I don't know what Claudia's been telling you. Claudia! just got nothing to do with Claudia. I saw you, Linda. I saw you kissing him. I don't know what you want me to do. Why can't you believe me, Sam? I want to, Linda. God knows I want to. But you haven't exactly got a proven track record when it comes to the truth, have you? Okay. I slept with Carl once. I kissed him once to say goodbye. But that was all. Now, if you can't... If you can't handle that, maybe we shouldn't go through with this wedding. But, Sam... I love you. I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that you have no feelings for Carl Fletcher. I knew it. Come, 
Get out, Linda. Get out of my sight and get out of my club. I never want to see you again. Sam. Get out! Goodbye, Linda. Linda, is it true that the wedding is off? Linda, is it true that Sam jilted you at the altar? Sam, uh, they've ruined everything. I think we better get you home. I can't go through that aggressive like It's okay. We'll go through the kitchen. Come on, we can't stay here. Linda. Yeah. Thanks, Sandra. Look, you can get off if you want. You don't have to stay out of mine. Oh, I'm not leaving you on your own. What are you going to do now? <sighs> You've just about had enough of Harchester. <laughs> only a couple of weeks till I go to prison, so I guess I'll just lie low till then. Oh, don't say that. You'll get off. Everyone says so. To be honest, I can't wait to go. A bit of relief after all this. What have I done? Linda! Come on, it's me! Open up! Linda! Where is she? She's not here. Oh, come on, Sandra, just let me in. It's all right, Sandra. Hello, Fletch. Well, you got what you wanted. I really better be getting back to the club. Yeah, of course. Listen, thanks, Sandra, yeah? For everything, you've been brilliant. I'll give you a ring when I'm a bit more sorted. All right. Take care of yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going to sit, drink tea and pretend nothing's happened. We have to talk about this. Nothing to talk about. I've lost the man I'm going to marry, my job, everything. Well, what about us? I meant what I said, Fletch. There is no us. Yeah, but now... I... What, what, now I've been publicly humiliated, you mean? You want to pick up where you left off because I'm available? No! No! I've never felt like this about anyone in my life. I love you. Don't, Fletch. Because I don't want to hear it. You know what? You can just leave me alone if you hadn't started this in the first place. What do you think? I want to be in love with you. Do you? We can't do nothing about this, Linda. You just have to accept it. <sighs> just shut up, okay? Just shut up. Marry me. Marry me. What? You heard. Marry me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Don't worry, I'm not going to start crying again. I just think it's funny. What? What is? You! Asking me, <laughs> me to marry you after everything that's happened. I mean, you're Carl Fletcher, the original commitment phobe. And you want me to marry you after all I've done to you. That's funny. Funny? Funny? I'm glad I could be of some use. Oh, funny Fletch. Always good for love. You know, I've never asked anyone to marry me before. I've never even told anyone I love them. I'm not doing this for a laugh. I'm serious. All right, Carl. I'm sorry, I just... Yeah, well, you, 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 I need something back, you know? Come here. I do love you. I wish to God that I didn't, <laughs> but I do, and... How can it work, Fletch? They can't, yeah, especially but, now. No, but we can, we can try. No, we can see, see what happens. You really want this, don't you? Y yes! Yes, yes, I do. I do.
Hey. I know I'm probably the last person you want to see right now. But I just wanted to say sorry if what happened today kind of unsettled you for the final. You um, might have gathered I don't work here anymore. <laughs> so, um... I just wanted to thank you for all you've done this season. I know it hasn't been easy. But I just, um... If it hadn't have been for you, then we wouldn't be leaving. You wouldn't be leaving for a UEFA Cup final. Which I know you'll win. Anyway, I just wanted to say good luck. You too, Mrs. Block. Don't forget us, will you? No chance of that. Take care of yourself, okay? We're gonna miss you. <laughs> we'll bring that cup back. Hey. I promise. You'd better see the show. Don't worry, Patrick, they're all yours. Not a care in the world, eh? I've got nothing to say to you. No, but I have something to say to you. I did care about you, Sam. Whatever you might think. And it wasn't just about the club. Though sometimes I felt like that's all I had. But I never meant to hurt you. Never. No, I didn't love you. Not in the way that you need to be loved. I don't know, I thought that might come over time. Sad thing is now, we'll never know. I'm sorry, Sam. I really am. I was just leaving. Straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect. Did you stop to think when you were scheming away how this would affect your father? Huh? Well, he's a broken man now. But then I guess that's what you wanted, isn't it? To make him as bitter as you are. Well, now he is. Good luck, Claudia. See you. I'm just off. Just came to say uh, goodbye and thank you for this morning. Listen, I'm sorry. It's okay. I suppose you won't be travelling to Amsterdam. I did wonder what to do with your tickets and passports. Well, I guess I'll just have to watch it on TV like everybody else. I don't suppose I'll be very welcome at the Amsterdam Arena, would I? Sorry. Thank you. I'll give you a ring when I know what's happening, yeah? It's not my business, but uh, that's TV Shaw. He's a good bloke, you know. Don't waste any time. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the last person to be giving advice on relationships. Okay, take care, you two.
sorry I didn't get the message. Who did you say you left it with? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. Well, not to worry. I'll see what's available. I doubt we'll be able to do a direct route. That doesn't matter. I just need to get there as soon as possible. Um, we're not likely to go via Amsterdam, are we? No, it's more likely to be Madrid. If you could have your passport and credit card ready for me, I'll be as quick as I can. Formal investigation. Good news, I've got a cancellation on a direct flight. We need to get a move on, though. The departs in 10 minutes. A big story breaking here, and I'm going to have to interrupt the program. The confirmation that the coach carrying Harchester United's first team squad has crashed on the M1. The coach was taking the team to the airport for the UEFA Cup final when it came off the road. We can go live to the scene Excuse now. Excuse me, we need to get a move on. Mrs Block. Yes, no. thanks Claire. I have to say I've just arrived here so details are a little sketchy but what I can tell you is the Harchester United team coach has come off the M1 just behind me and plunged down this embankment where you can see the smoke over my shoulder. I'm not allowed any closer to this, I can't tell you too much detail, but the emergency service are down there, probably trying to pull people from the wreckage. Uh, we're not sure about injuries at this stage. 